Okay. Round eight versus Marden. God, he's going to get a bit of inducement cash. 60, 150 inducement probably. Four rerolls. 160, yeah, I imagine he's going to get Wizard, if I know Marden. What else could he get? If I'm him, what do I get? Hmm... I honestly have no idea what he's going to go for. Our team is pretty standard, but after seven games, we've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight level ups. Oh, great. Just a wizard. Okay, fair enough. That, I don't mind that too much. I don't tend to cage up all that much anyway. I mean, I do cage, but like, you know, it's, it's a huge tactic or anything. Hmm. Welcome back, Sportans. Looks like we've lost the toss. Which is the first game where we've lost the toss in geez like. I think we've won the last five tosses. So we were lucky in that respect. Maybe defending isn't that bad. I mean, I've got four vampires, so I can um, hypnotize, cage break, recover the ball fairly easily. It's just a question of how badly am I going to get my ass kicked mm, by this bear and on the front line. I think my wrestlers need to be on the front line. Maybe this blodge vamp. I don't see any tackle here. There's one wrestle there. It's an unleveled bear. Oof, I don't know about this. I don't think I am going to just give up the f I'm gonna give up the flanks it's fine I don't, I don't even know honestly I don't even know it's Kislev I don't know I have no idea what to do with against Kislev strip ball block jump up the diving tackle is gonna be annoying is it the actually no, I'm not gonna do much dodging away. The only person who's gonna dodge away is Count Herman Cross. He's got two wrestle pieces and one block piece. I've got three block, two wrestle. So overall I've got a block throwing advantage. He has armor advantage, but overall I have strength advantage. That bear is a concern. But maybe not so much. As long as I keep it based against the wrestlers or the blodge vamp, he's pretty unlikely to get... I mean, he's, he's going to need a power. I'm tempting, tempted to just have Herman Cross base this tame bear. Does it have Lona? It's got 5 strength, we've got 4 strength here. It's super risky, because he could remove one of our best vampires. But the thing is, if it goes wrong for him, that could be a good source of making him burn rerolls. If he wants to... If he wants to punch my vamp, he's going to have to roll a pal. Let's see how he starts. I think he should start with blitzing his... With his blitzer. So 
to stay. Oh god, that's scary. 7 AV getting mighty blowed. That's very scary. Push, we'll take that. Until after the fire. Oh, dude, I'm glad to hear you getting back on your feet. That's awesome. Shit, gets an extra push. That's how I didn't think about it. I didn't think about getting pushed and attacked again. I think you should try to recover the ball here. He actually needs the ball on his line, you know, that uh, four edgy catcher. Oh, fuck, there's prehensile tail. I didn't think about the prehensile tail. But still, I've got dodge. The main thing is there's no tackle, so it's fairly safe. Two 67% chances to get away. Doesn't blitzed. Interesting. What do we do here? We, we first first thing is we pick a target for this vamp. I'm just I just want a mighty blow here. You need to be close. One, two, three, four, five, six, go for it. Honestly, because I I just don't want to have to go for it to be able to move. No <laughs> nice! Oh, and we have a man advantage on turn one. Excellent. I've got plenty of rerolls, it's fine. And I don't have to save a reroll for the dodge away here because he's got dodge, which gets a free reroll anyway. Now I am going to leave that lineman there. And then let's put this vamp back. Where exactly? Four, five. I want him close enough to be able to help over here, but not so far that if he flicks back around this way, I've got problems. Giving him a one, two, three, four person fireball there. I've got to be super careful to make sure I don't keep all my vampires together because he's just going to fireball them. Bonehead success. Gets the pow. Shit. Love Damien. He's good. Push. Just need to wait until he's in a position where all three of my vamps can can do the whole the combo, the ball retrieve combo. Ok, 
Okay, so he's going the other side. Thinking about it. He shouldn't commit to a flank yet. That's just a regular lineman, right? Okay, that's fine. I'm going to have Herman Cross take care of this lad. Uh, he's going to leave someone there because uh, I was going to say otherwise I can hypnot hypnotic gaze there. Cover the ball this turn, then. Do I want to throttle mark these lads? The catcher, certainly. He's only got two strength. What I need to do is try to end every turn with the tame bear in contact with only a uh, wrestling piece. I think that's my blitz right there. Let's try to get this lineman off the field. This is going to be decisive. Nice. On the brakes in my favor big time so far. Pretty much both my mighty blow hits have resulted in an armor break, whereas neither of his has. So I'll admit we've been lucky there. needs yeah unlucky no oh, armor break at least and we haven't spread the lads out too much but also haven't grouped them up too much i want to not i just want to make sure i don't give him a fireball target as soon as i start basing with all the vamps to force him to punch through he'll just fireball and run straight through me Oh, we got plus two on fan factor. Amazing. So if I win, it could be big for me. Oh. Mm. Was that just a stun? Okay, I might just start Mighty Blow hitting that bear. Because clearly that's the person who's just gonna who's gonna blitz with every turn. Which isn't always that bad because he might have to use his rerolls, but he hasn't had to so far. Nine AV. I'm unlikely to, to get him off the field. The players arrived to assist their teammate. Just gotta keep watching this ball carrier. As soon as he leaves him exposed where we can hypnotize someone and then blitz. We need to do so. I do feel like I should probably pressure him and force him. I want to make him feel like he has to use his, his wizard as soon as possible. Because if I'm worst case for me is he uses wizard on turn seven or eight just to free up to allow his guard to run in. Then he ends the, the her off one nil up and I have to score twice to get the win in the next turn. Um, I don't have any god, so if I mark there and then blitz in that way, it's only a one skull, which is not that great. I think he fucked up. If I hypnotic gaze this piece, I can hit 
the ball carrier on that side. And it's unlikely anybody can recover though. Mm. I go for it. I think I go for it. If I hit there and follow up, then this piece is going to struggle to push me back and surf me. The thing is, though, who recovers that ball if it's loose? Maybe Harman Van, Van Cross. But now I need Van Cross to do hypnotic gaze there. Two, three, four, five, six. What happens if it fails? I need to have a thrall there next to him in case his bloodlust fails. Stand this guy up, good, he doesn't fail bloodlust. That's a dangerous place to be. Hmm, not ideal. Now we're looking at getting badly surfed here now. Do I go for the pickup? Dodge and pick up. But then I'm almost certainly going to get surfed. Don't have a reroll. I think maybe I'll just swarm them and try to protect the ball. So what happens? Those are very difficult blocks for him. His bear can only really push that way, so that's not too bad. What do I do with this lad? Don't leave these two unmarked, that's for sure. Um, no, not worth. That is... Do I even have to hit, use hypnotic gaze then? Maybe not. setting myself up for a fireball not really I'm keeping my lads in a square line and if he wants to fireball he can hit those three 50% chance to knock them all down if he wants to hit these three he's got to hit two of his three of his own lads two of his own lads that might not be a bad fireball for him but he's already moved some on this turn oh clutch clutch time for bonehead and he successfully rerolls the loner that could have been a turnover if he fucked that over he just gets a push What does he do here? He doesn't have really any good dice to throw. That should be red dice. This one here should be red dice. That should be red dice. That should be one dice. Doesn't really help him. I'll bet this is frustrating as hell for him. I don't think he. he I feel like, think like he's gonna feel like he can't do anything here. And he's got to move this piece because all I have to do is push that one and then I get a surf here. Maybe he should try to leap over there. K 
Kislev are interesting sub projects. The Kislev look look super weak now, but I'm sure they have their moments. They, they, they just do seem awfully bloated. I mean, everybody has leap, but mostly three edgy, so quite unreliable. Their catcher seems like an amazing piece, though. Leap, long legs. Is it a leveled up one? It's unleveled. It comes with diving catch as well. That's really cool. Two dice. Stun. Oh, you lucky fucker. I didn't actually see where he had two dice on the vampire there. That was surprising. I thought there's no way he would have had two dice on the vampire. <laughs> lands on his ass lol stuns himself I think I need to take the two dice against this thrower force him to do something against that thrower against this okay, good that's pretty much taken the catcher out of this drive can he stand up and leap probably can stand up leap dodge away It's a one dice with a reroll, and all I need is a push. That isn't that bad, is it? Hypnotize the bear. Move this lad away. Blitz the ball carrier. Oh, I could just one dice with block advantage to try to punch the bear down. Is that a better... Mm. Just don't need... Okay, that'll do. Recovering the ball is going to be difficult though. What can I do that could help me out? If I blitz him down, then I get that surf. So I think that's probably worth doing. Put pressure on the ball. Can't argue with that. I am going to stay. I don't want to be in double contact there. Unlucky. Here's the push I needed. Nice! We are doing a good job of clearing him this off. One thing that's surprising me that I'm feeling when I'm playing vamps, I don't feel under such huge pressure to get the ball because I know we can actually do some crazy shit pretty quickly I think I need to start thinking about getting one of the vamps into a scoring position at some point like now count Herman cross seems like the obvious answer So these two are stunned. Uh, go, sub Griff. Looking good. He has very few pieces to play with on this turn. <laughs> We've removed three and th three stunned or two stunned? Three stunned. So you can only move five pieces. Dude, there's so much streaming time as well. It's been bloody great. Keeps blitzing with the bay and it keeps getting away with it. That's fine, but I'm so traumatized from using big guys. Celeste makes him one dice blocks here. And even then, that should be... I don't even need to hypnotize the bear. I can probably punch him down.
Oh, one dice, pal. Interesting. Oh, the vamp resistor, that's the main thing. I want to make that my blitz. If it succeeds and I push, I can still feed on this guy if I need to. So I think that's my blitz. And that sets up a bunch of two dices here, and maybe Marco Rutkow can use a reroll to recover the ball. Well, at that point, if I knock all three of these down, I only need to hypnotic gaze or punch, and then that frees up Herman Cross. Let's see here. Do I use the reroll for the bite? I do not. So I have to knock this guy down. And bite one of these teammates. For a second there, I thought I wouldn't be able to feed on him. I remember Logic saying you can feed on a downed throw. But if that had failed and was a turnover, that would have been a disaster. One dice with block advantage. I have to back myself, but and I still got my reroll. I think is the main thing. That then allows me to two dice this guy down, blitz him down, pick the ball up, and make a run for it. stay so I stay in contact with this lad already used your blitz shit <laughs> fuck's sake I need these rerolls for ball handling Can I hypnotic gaze and then bite teammate? Does it make it make a difference? So, taking the ball from right under the opposing team's nose. What's the pass chance? Five plus. Four plus with the reroll. He'd need a pow. I'm gonna hang on to the ball. He's used his wizard. Got a lot of down pieces. He's got strength advantage and he needs a pow. His bear is his best chance to blitz. Uh, count cross to get him down. We've only got one KO. He's got two KOs and an injury. 
Lona finally fails him. And that's his blitz for the turn. That seems like a... <laughs> a tilt move. And that kind of highlights one of the reasons why when I'm playing humans these days, I'm actually preferring taking a Dauntless on one or maybe even two of my Blitzers rather than even using the big guy. Because it always, like, I can't think of a single time having the big guy was what made it amazing. All I can remember, and it's, I know it's selection bias, but all I can ever remember is the big guy just being an utter liability and costing me. He's got strip ball where... One of these lads has got strip ball. No, knock him out. It looks like it's going to be an over the top one of these lads. Fly, fly, little prince, up, up to the sky. There's the strip ball piece. Okay, so now it's going to be all about keeping my ball carrier away from that strip ball. One dice. That's only a one dice. Oh. Mm. Uh. Like I want to blitz straight past this lad and go there. A little dangerous. It's block advantage. One dice. I hate throwing one dice like that though. If I hypnotic gaze this lad, and I can move forward here and make that a two dice, then that frees up this lad who can. One, two, three, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like that's my move. What? Oh. Great success! Knock that piece down into that square. Stay. that doesn't give him a better result i'm gonna feel so bad oh death oof i'm pretty sure others are giving you hints to somewhat on sportsman luck oh well whatever no one else whined about it hmm. fucking hell these re-rolls we failed a lot of bloodlusts, I will say that much. Oh my god, the bloodlust! Oh, oh my word, poor Martin. Oh god. Unlucky. It's not been, it, it has not been Martin's league. God, he's been unlucky. Two, three, four, good lord, poor guy. Man. <laughs> I 
And that's the second uh, failed dumb big guy in a row. Yeah, he's fully tilted now. I, I, I sympathize, I understand. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, go for it, go for it. I didn't even think if I was in range. I just felt out lucky I was in range. I didn't pay attention to how little time I had left. Oh, I've got another turn after this. Okay. Fine. <sighs> hmm. Do we push this lad? Yes, we do. We have failed a lot of bloodlusts. Thank goodness that this is the game where I keep failing all these bloodlusts. Well, my vamps are doing what they can to, to, to knock us knock us out yeah, another injury god poor modern <laughs> i should have pushed there but oh whatever oh my god he's gonna get cleared I'm running a lot of pals. This is, I'll admit that. <laughs> I feel his pain. I've been there. When you're in the depths of that, it'll just let it be over. Whatever. I hope my guy dies. It's fucking hopeless. Oh, blood ball. That's three turns in a row for the bear failing to do anything. You hate to see it. Whew. One nil on his drive. Like, I would much rather have wanted the extra SPP on the unleveled lad, but it's so hard. I mean, in terms of how I have to use them, I just really need him as a hypnotizer. Three off the... F he's two down. Oof. Ouchie. I hope Morden gets a win this league. <laughs> he's... 01 and 7, 01 and 6 so far. I think I want to score on him pretty quick and then give him a chance to drive. I'm happy to win this 2 1. Let's at least give him a, a touchdown, maybe. Oh, killed his catcher, unlucky fucker. Now maybe I can finally get one of my five out of six lads to complete a pass. Punch him down. Punch him down. Punch him down. I just feel so bad for the guy. <laughs> God, it's been fucking miserable for him. Oh, 
I'll tell you one thing, the vampires aren't the shit team I thought they were for the first six games of the season. Dude, this 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 is not for everyone. I think that Blood Bowl is probably the most not for any not for everyone game in the history of games. So I totally get how you might not be, be into it. Knock down the bear. Well, anyways, I'm just gonna get done with this game, and then it'll be back to the mountain blade. Who am I gonna? I think I'm gonna try to pass to Count Herman Van Cross. Getting to paint your own teams is a bonus that is worth considering. Is this going to be enough to come out on top? Like, with these vampires, what was an absolute revelation for me was having the third vampire. So as soon as the first time I was able to uh, hypnotize someone, blitz the guy in the middle of the cage, and then recover the ball all in a single turn, it was just like a light going off in my head, like how amazing vamps can actually be. We got strip ball there, so if we blitz that dude away. Uh, let's go here. Okay, that dude's marked. Let's at least force the bear. I'm just gonna ignore Martin. He's just whining now at this point, but I get it. I would also I would be whining way worse if I had his luck this this league. Well, the thing like with the tabletop version, like I would enjoy the painting, but I wouldn't enjoy is the moving rolling dice and like, hey, what does that mean? Okay, what is this? What are the rules here? Then arguing with the opponent and re-rolling into a pow. Fair enough. It's similar to like Magic the Gathering. I think I would enjoy Friday Night Magic, like actually playing against the person. But the whole manipulating the cards and you need someone there and... Uh... Oof. Five out of six. No long term effect. It's fine. Now, this is the old switcheroo where we're going to hand off the ball to Count Stefan the Blood Dragon. So not to be that guy, but like, I went to my local card shop and like, the, the kind of people who tend to frequent the card shop are not really the type of people I would hang out with normally. Like, someone who has to be told to bathe is not someone I'm going to get along with naturally. Beautiful. Do I fancy a dodge away? I've already re I've already used my reroll. Is there any chance like one dice can push him? No, I think I want to maintain here. Hmm. Well, unlucky for me, I don't have friends that play MTG, so. So moving him up ahead without a thrall is a risk, but I've got the rerolls to reroll the bloodlust if need be. Come on, guys. Together. Dude, I, I totally missed that era in high school. All, all, all my friends were normies in high school. I, did, I didn't have any even video game playing friends in high school. 
That was the only one. So that's an easy punch and then a blitz onto the ball carrier, oh. so... Thick. And I can't reroll. God damn it. Oh no! We failed a lot of bloodlust this game. I mean a lot. Like I've lost count how many. I don't think now is the time to hand off. That's the big question I have. He's going to blitz there and put himself in contact. Actually, no, I think I do make the handoff now. Because otherwise the ball carrier will be in contact with the prehensile tailed bear on the next turn. I think oh, both, no, no, not both injuries are down to bloodlust, only one is. If the player is pushed here, it will finish in the public. <sighs> Oof. Come on, don't get a power, don't get a power or defender down. Both down, reroll it, fail the loner. Mm. That's loner for you. I really sympathize. It's so hard for him. He doesn't have any resources. He has to use the big guy. And the big guy almost always lets you down. It's so frustrating. I really want this vamp to do this touchdown. Blitz that lad there like that. I could just blitz him down and run up the side there. We've got the rerolls. So if the blitz goes wrong, we should be fine. I just need a pal there. If I don't get a pal. Actually, the birth down is fine. The block is down. It's fine. Oh, God! The slaughter continues. I was just saying. I was not happy with the <laughs> both down because I couldn't go through there, but then I get the injury. I've been a lucky boy this game. <laughs> yes, modern. Embrace embrace the insanity. Actually, this was an unnecessary block. No, I had the reroll. That's fine. That's fine. I had the reroll. So, can't hit him next turn. Ball carrier. Where's the vamp? I want him to score. So, I need to get this thrall across there to help. Well, I've, I've been lucky in terms of armor breaks. I mean, I've broken a lot of his armor. But I've been I've been unlucky with the bloodlusts, but I've been lucky with the armor breaks. In my original prediction on the first half, that if I could just keep his tame bear, if I can force the tame bear to hit someone where the tame bear is blocking with either wrestle or block disadvantage, he'll have to use rerolls. But what I didn't even think about was how much he would get let down by the the bear being stupid. And Lona has failed him I think three or four times. Wrestle us both down. The wrestle is annoying because I need to roll to get up, but I would need to roll to do anything anyway. Oof. He goes there. He goes there. 
Lona getting button goes there. Off on the next turn. I hope there's a stat just to show how many bloodlusts we failed. This is potentially a problem. Shit, I wanted to help here. Yeah, this is bad. Get, mm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can probably just push me into the end zone and force me to score with that vamp. Well, it's through the block advantage one dice. Actually, I should have tried to hit that guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That doesn't make a difference. Block disadvantage. <laughs> oh god. And then Lona fails him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oof. Poor guy. Martin has had rotten luck this game. <laughs> He's gone over to the dark side entirely now. <laughs> oh my word. Nice SPP farm for us. Six from touchdowns. Uh, two passes, actually two sets, eight. Plus the eight is 16 so far. Well, to be fair, Duck Yours, I'm, I'm not going to begrudge him that. I would also be complaining the entire league. It has been fucking brutal for modern this league. I feel his pain. When I played Chaos in the first league, I'd, I'd, I'd never been so close to, to quitting. Like, if it wasn't for the fact that it was a viewer league, I would have just abandoned. Playing Chaos in that first league, that was just miserable. That was so absolutely miserable. Here's where we get a... Let's. Awesome. The attacker has an assist. push this must be a replacement bear only got one Needs a pal, gets a pal. Zara rerolls and fails the pickup. 
Oh my god! Oh, poor Morden. Didn't start with a bear. Oh, so it's a new one. Three, four, five, six. As a brave, brave thrall, where do I block? Honestly, everyone gets their turn. Everybody just gets their turn to just get completely wrecked. It happens. Uh, see, he knocks him down. I need to force the bear to punch. I can't have the bear addressing Count Damien von Sortosa. Pun I never thought about that, the fact that it's a pun on NFL. That's quite clever. I never thought of that. I can't score next in anyway, so one, two, three, four, five, six, go for it, go for it. Maybe I can. He fails the pickup again. Awesome. His plan needs to be to free up the bear so the bear can blitz my vamp. It's not a great plan, but it's the best one he's got. Let's push that one away there, that should be another one dice. The bear lets him down now. We have a chance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You gotta pick the ball up first, mate. Oh, I see. Okay, so if he succeeds in this, then we can't score again. Two big guys is always better than Shit. No long term effect. Regen fails, that's fine. No need for the APO. I should get an extra 20,000 winnings from having plus two fan factor. I think that's how that works. I'm almost tempted to turn 16 foul him just, just because it would be the ultimate insult. Let's call this today. GG. Just a knockout. That's fine. Indeed, Medford, and this is my viewer league. So we play one game a week, and this is just my weekly weekly game. Round number eight. I think I I'm one zero oh, and. No, I'm not. I'm um, one, one, two, and f one, one, and four. I should be two, one, and four after this game. Well, no, I'll be three, one, and four after this game. I think we've won one game or two. We've won two games. I don't It up and make it maybe throw for SPP. He can't. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. 
God, he's gonna kill one of my vamps now with a foul, isn't he? Honestly, I think Martin is in such a, a, a an insane mental state with the luck that he's had. I mean, this is like the eighth game in a row that he's just gotten fucking wrecked. If he kills this vamp, I'm gonna be gutted though. Just a stun. Phew. GG Martin, holy shit, dude. <laughs> that was so brutal. But I, I mean, it's not like, you know, I screwed him over or anything. Uh, but I feel like I'm still gonna get the short end of the stick because I'm facing the Ogre team on the final round of the league. So I'm gonna face an Ogre team that is gonna have such a. And I rolled a six. I rolled, I rolled one maximum amount. Oh, that's beautiful. Turn him down. And his Blitzer got MVP. So we got nice SPP, 17, 18, 21 SPP. Playing Bannerlord now. I'm just going to finish looking at my dice roll here. I want to look at Bloodlust rolls. 82%. Actually, that's about right. But we still... I mean... See, this is the thing. This is with only four vampires. You had to roll 52 Bloodlust rolls in total. So that's about right. Nine failed. Pickups were good. Hypnotic gaze was about right. Catch attempts were great. Wake up was great. Fireball was about fine. Let's see, casualty rate. Injury 83. Dodge. Pretty, I failed. Did I f Jeez, like I failed dodging quite badly. Hmm. But see, this is the thing that Ducky was like, why some guys roll with six vampires? If you think if you have six vampires all having to roll for bloodlust for 16 turns, six times 16, that's 96 rolls. And I mean, I had five re-rolls, six in the first half, and it felt like it was barely enough with all the bloodlusts we failed. If it gets any worse, look how many bloodlusts you're going to fail. Block dice? The block dice were quite nice for me. How about for Motherland? Okay, that's a lot of skulls. Block succeeded. He actually threw more blocks than I did, which doesn't sound right. You see, for me, that was the real game changer. I threw less blocks, but got way more KOs and injuries. Look at the difference. 10 to only 2. Mm. And I, it's not like I had mighty blood advantage. Even having a fourth vampire, I'm wondering about. I mean, you only need three vampires to be able to do the, uh, the little trick. But the thing is, I think the, the, the fourth vampire then is needed because if any one of your three vampires gets knocked out, you can't do the cage breaking maneuver. Well, Martin, I'm not saying you should play every match in the rest of the league just to foul as many people as you can. But I think you should play a rematch for the rest of the league, just fouling as many people as you can. So I'm up against League's Cancer next. Who is who's League's? Is that the Chorfs? League's Cancer. Uh, Nurgle in the next round. Okay, Nurgle is going to suck. So I've got Nurgle, then. Lost uh, Fail Ratu. So Nurgle, Norse. Uh, ogre. So, um, three, one, and four. Holy hell, we've recovered amazingly well. He's like sitting. Well, I must uh, recall that my real objective in this in this league, considering the fact that I pulled vampires and I'm so inexperienced with vampires, my my goal was to finish top off, and that's looking like it's on. It's looking like it's doable. Okay, so just one level up on this thrall. Another bit of wrestle, maybe? Honestly, Martin, at this point, I think you just have to have a sense of humor about it. It's, it's shitty to, you know, you know, to think about it, but you're like, ah, whatever, dude. You know how we say some, some days you're the insect, some days you're the windshield? 
Well, some leagues you the you the insect, some leagues you the windshield. And you've been the windshield for all seven games so far. You know, oh no, wait, oh no, had a cracking great season. He's the underworld, isn't he? I lost quite badly against him. I think Ono is surprising a lot of guys because you, Logix, and um, and Jodas are known as the two best coaches. But I mean, Ono Holt doesn't smack talk. He doesn't get a lot of chat in the Discord. He just goes about his business and beats fucking everybody. Who did he actually lose against? Uh, Mordime Warpstone is. And his TV is surprisingly low for, for that record. Three oh, he won that one. He beat Norse Emblem, beat League's Cancer, beat the shit out of me. But at least I got one touchdown against him. He lost against the Skaven. That's interesting, because the Skaven team haven't been particularly strong this league. Eric the Red has been struggling this league. That might be an interesting game. So next up, I play against uh, Nurgle. Ooh, I'm seeing a lot of injuries. Oh, a god beast of Nurgle. Puke. He's got so few skills. Three rerolls, no cheerleaders, no coaches assistance. So I should back myself to get the fan factor and the cheerleader and coach assistant advantage. I can beat this team. I can absolutely beat them. Just what's going to suck is I'm going to have to roll dice to do anything. I have to roll dice to beat to get over bloodlust. I have to roll, do roll dice to get past foul appearance. I have to roll dice to pass the ball with disturbing presence. It is going to be difficult. How has he got so little SPP? Hmm. That's going to be interesting. Uh, but I'm going to back myself there. I'm going to back myself to beat him. Has he bought endorsements? Uh, inducements? No. Where's all his SPP sitting? That's... Uh, League's Cancer. He's won three games. Where's all his SPP? He must be not scoring a lot. Hmm. Oh, look at this. There's not a lot of... So he scored nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. One touchdown. He scored three touchdowns in seven games. That explains it. And really, you only have the Pestigors as potential ball handlers. He's only got one Pestigore. Interesting. How many deaths has he sustained? Maybe that's only one. Probably the other Pestigore that died. Okay, interesting. We'll see how it goes. Okay, friends, so I'm sitting. Where am I sitting? Seventh. Which I'm very surprised with. I can't help but wonder how different things might have gone if I had started with the three vamp start, but I shouldn't worry about that. I knew the risk I was taking with the two vamp start, and the fact that I had, I think, 70k winnings after the first four games. That's what really fucked me. I mean, the fact that it took me six games. It was only game six when I had my third vampire. I had, like, basically almost half the entire league. I only had two vamps. Now I'm, I'm becoming quite competitive, I think. Like, I'm right up there with the high TV teams. I don't have the best skills. I really regret taking Mighty Blow on the one vampire. If I had taken Blodge on the other vamp, I could have had two Blodge vamps. If that was two Blodge vamps, one with block, and then a bunch of wrestle. This is not a bad vamp team. I think I need to buy two thralls, but that's really going to inflate my... I'm going to be the highest TV in the league, I think, if I buy more thralls. But I kind of have to, don't I? Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Wait, where's the leaderboard? TV. That oh, doesn't show mine yet. But 13, I'm pretty sure I'm the highest. Unless the ogre is sitting on a few 
uh, level up she hasn't used yeah which she hasn't so like i'm gonna go i'm gonna go in against these big failures without even that much in the way of uh team advantage uh tv advantage oh yeah when he comes back you're gonna be huge and the thing is though punching these ogres is gonna be damn near impossible with my vamps but i'll just dodge away from them i don't see any tackle so logics you've got i mean it doesn't matter i mean if you take some tackle you're not going to get tackle you'd need to roll double skulls on these ogres to get tackle anyway so i'll just dodge away with, from them with my vamps it's gonna be interesting okay friends thanks for watching see you next week for the next game